Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and it's time to play some high-end heavy graphics game on Nothing Phone 2A to see how good the gaming performance of the device is. So here we go. So these are the games we got today here on our Nothing Phone 2A. We have set the screen refresh rate to 120Hz and right now the battery percentage is 60. We will play all of these games with the help of the game mode to get the best performance out of this device. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So the graphics quality is looking really good and here in the FPS meter you can see that we are getting 60 FPS. So we are constantly getting 60 FPS, the graphics quality is good enough and the gameplay is very smooth. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Injustice 2 or nothing phone 2 way. It's just that the maximum FPS we are getting is 60 only even though the game supports up to 120Hz and also the display we got here is 120Hz refresh rate display but since the game is not fully compatible and the hardware is not fully supported for Injustice 2. So let's close Injustice 2. Now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of Call of Duty Mobile, you can see by default high is selected for graphics quality and frame rate. I can select very high graphics quality and I can select ultra frame rate as well. But if I'm selecting ultra, then the graphics quality is going to low and the maximum possible frame rate is 90 only. So the maximum possible combo here is very high with very high frame rate. If I select max, then maximum possible graphics quality available is high only so i'm going to play the game on ultra frame rate with low graphics quality because in the games like pubg mobile call of duty mobile fps is actually more important the graphics quality is looking good enough and we are getting 90 fps now it's still on 98 went to 65 just for fraction of second talking about the graphics quality it's not that great because we are playing this game on the lowest possible graphics setting so the details are not too much but the gameplay is very smooth as you can see that as we are getting 90 fps here
so as you can see we are constantly getting 90 fps no frame drop no lagging everything is nice and smooth So no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth and we were getting 90 FPS while playing Call of Duty Mobile on nothing phone to it. Let's close Call of Duty Mobile and now let's play Asphalt 9. So here in the display setting of Asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high graphics quality and the 60 FPS mode is enabled as well. So let's split the game and let's see whether we are going to get 60 FPS or not. So the graphics quality is looking pretty nice. Lots of detail we are getting. If you have a look on the crown, the cracks on the road. And the gameplay is very smooth as well as you can see in the FPS counter that we are getting 60 FPS here.
so no frame drop no lagging we are constantly getting 60 fps and the graphics quality is pretty good as well Let's close this fault 9 and now let's play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile you can see HD is selected for graphics, high for the frame rate. HDR is available as well. I can select HDR with ultra frame rate. Ultra HDR onwards is not available. If I go to smooth then extreme frame rate is getting enabled. So I'm going to play the game on HDR graphics with ultra frame rate and let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So here you can see that we are getting good amount of details. When I am changing the camera angle the reflection of the light from the shoulder pad and everything it's looking quite nice. Good amount of details we are getting. If you have a look on the ground you can see the cracks and everything and we are getting 40 FPS as you can see here. So once again if you have a look on the ground you can see how much details we are getting it's pretty nice and we are getting around 40 fps on average 40 41 fps so gameplay is also smooth enough not that great of course but good enough to enjoy it and if you want more fps of course you can go to the extreme fps reduce the graphics quality and you will then get better fps So as you can see no frame drops no lagging we are constantly getting 40 fps it's not too much but it's still good enough to enjoy the game and the graphics quality is quite nice as you can see here
and here we go so as you can see everything was nice and smooth while playing PUBG Mobile on Nothing Phone 2A and we were constantly getting around 40 FPS. So after playing all of these games for 1 hour 5 minutes, the battery percentage moved from 60 to 47. So considering the fact that we were playing all of these games on the highest possible traffic setting, the battery performance is quite nice and you will be able to get 8 to 9 hours of gaming session on a fully charged Nothing Phone 2A. And talking about the heating issue, the device is not hot at all. This is really impressive because it is exactly at the same temperature even after playing all of these games for an hour continuously on it, the frame, back panel, area around the camera module, nothing is warm at all. So this is quite impressive for sure. So if you are a gamer, you will be happy with the performance of the device for sure. It's just that not all games are fully compatible. For example, on Injustice 2, we were getting only 60 FPS. Call of Duty Mobile is compatible only up to 90 FPS and that kind of thing. But once again, considering the hardware specs and the price segment of the device, the performance is quite satisfactory. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.